Hi guys, Kieran from Electrical Audio Visual. Welcome back to our channel. Obviously last week we did a video about how to use a control for a touchscreen. This week, as promised, we're showing you how to use a control for interface on the TV and I hope you enjoy it. So if you have a DSR260 remote control, you can see it's got a big red button. So when you push that big red button, it will turn on your TV, straight onto the on-screen navigator, and then from there, you'll be able to navigate around your Control 4 smart home system. So in this room, we've got our watch, so all our video sources, so if I hit watch, all our video sources are here. If I select Apple TV, the remote's now become the Apple TV remote control. And then we've got full navigation of the Apple TV itself. If I do volume up, in this setup, we've got a surround sound setup. So that's the volume of the AVR for the room. And then if I do a room off, it turns off everything in the room. So the TV, the Apple TV, and the AVR power in the room. So this is how you navigate around your Control 4 on-screen navigator. So we've got our video sources being watch. We've got our listen. We have our lights. We have our heating. We have a door lock for this room. And then obviously we've added our favorite now, which is the Apple TV to go straight to Apple TV from the control for interface. If you push left, so we were on watch a second ago, when you push left, we didn't have access to the room that we're in. All the video sources, our music sources, our lighting, our comfort, which is our heating controls, a snapshot of our security system, and then just the general settings of our device. But this is the bit that you might want to add if it's not been added already, because sometimes your on-screen display goes to sleep. So what we say is we go to screensaver. On our projects, we always set them to be custom. So from here, we we'll change it from date and time. We'll go up to custom, hit select. Then we move left. This bit here is where we customize it. So what do we want to do? I always do time, date, media plane in the room, and I show the outdoor temperature. Once you've done that, if you hit the back button, you must remember to hit OK, because otherwise it won't display anything. And then if I quickly play some music in here, and let's just say we play Capital Radio. If I go to the navigator, when the screen goes to sleep, if we push the eye symbol over here, it will show us what's playing in the room. You may have the skybox paused and you've gone back to the on-screen display, but at least you can see what's going on. We like this feature. Pressing the forward button takes us straight back again, or if we go to listen, we have all our music sources. So again, navigating around, playing whatever we want to play in the room. If you hit the cancel button or back, which is the bottom right-hand corner of the first section of navigation on the remote, takes us back here. Lighting, which is all the lighting for the room. So we have our all our scenes up there, all the lights, our comfort, which is obviously our heating controls. We have a door lock here, so that's added to our favorites to the room. So if you want to just unlock the door, we can do that. This shows us what's now playing in the room. So currently we've got Capital Radio playing that there. If I went to, if I actually change this, and just did Apple TV playing, for instance, but then something happened, I've changed the screen, you know, I've changed my mind of what I wanted to do, and then actually, you know what, someone else come in the room, I actually wanna watch Apple TV now in that room. So what do we do? If we highlight where it says now playing, just wait for that menu to go away, and select it, the TV will go back to where it was before. So we'll go back to Apple TV, and we're back with Apple TV. So also another additional feature that's quite nice that we tend to do is with our dots on our remote control, what we've done is on the two dots, when you're sitting in the room with smart lighting, if we push the two dots, it turns off all the lights to the room. So if you're watching the film, you can just turn off all the lights. And then with the one dot of the room, it turns all the lights on. So we're showing you now how to use a user interface on the TV using your Control 4 Smart Home. If you have any questions, please comment below and we're happy to assist you. Don't forget to like and subscribe also because that'll be really helpful for us in our content for our channel. Next week in our final series, we're going to be showing you how to use a Control 4 interface with the remote controls that they provide. And I hope you enjoy it.